Marissa from Imagine This in Art and Music Studio, and today we are going to be going over our pre-art lesson for the week. Our pre-art class is our youngest class, um, it's ages about two to four, but again, anyone is welcome to come in. This is going to be a fun family activity that you guys could do. Now remember, while you're working on this, as our good friend Bob Ross once said, there are no mistakes, only happy accidents. So, for supplies, you will need either two cake pans or two cookie sheets. We have these here at the studio that are colored. You will also be needing shaving cream, shaving foam, um, a squeegee, or a ruler. Either one works. And then food coloring, colors of your own choice. And we chose in um, celebration of St. Patrick's Day. We actually cut out some shamrocks, threw some designs on. And so we picked out some shamrocks and yellow, but feel free to do whatever shapes, whatever designs, and so forth. You will also need toothpicks. All right, let's get started. This is a really quick activity to show you guys, but it can last for a really long time if you need it to. The first thing we're going to do is get our shaving cream, and we can be pretty generous with this. We are going to fill the bottom of one of these cookie sheets with shaving cream. Depending on how big your pieces of paper are, you can fill out the whole entire space, maybe only part of it, but for now we are going to take the time and fill up enough for this whole entire tray. Okay, so that's probably about a good amount right there. And then I'm going to take my squeegee or my ruler and just smooth it out a little bit so it's nice and even all the way across. looks something like that. Okay, the next thing we are going to do is pick out our colors. Again, we have some green and yellow here. My parents, please help with this part, but I'm just going to take just a couple of droplets on your shaving cream. I said a couple, but I ended up doing about 10. If you want to mix in some other fun colors as well, I'm going to put in some yellow. They don't necessarily have to be on top or next to it, just somewhere in the mix. So your pan should look something like this at this point. The next step is we are going to grab the toothpick. Okay, and we have toothpicks. It doesn't have to be toothpicks. It can be a fork. It can be whatever you feel safest with your little one using it, but we have toothpicks here. Next thing we're going to do is take our toothpick and we're going to draw designs. Mix our colors up all together. Lots of circles, squiggly lines. You can do designs in here, patterns. But we're just going to kind of go crazy and go whatever directions we want. And you can talk to your kids about what colors are mixing, what colors are creating. Right now with the green and yellow, we're just making some nice, nice green yellow in here, which is really pretty. Okay, so we'll have something like that. It can be more mixed or less mixed, depending on the effect that you want. The next thing we're going to do is take our shamrock and place it right on top. So we want to be gentle with this. I'm going to smash it down gently onto the color. Make sure that everything's covered really well. And once you feel good about it, we're going to lift it up. So it should look something like this. So just to save you guys some cleanup time, our second pan is for cleaning off the shaving cream. Again, you can use a squeegee, you can use a ruler, whatever you have. But we are just going to be sliding off the shaving cream and seeing the really pretty patterns underneath. And you can be pretty firm with it. The color is going to stay on. Here's our shamrock. Isn't that pretty? And then you can keep going. You can keep using this shaving cream that you have. If you just want to layer it over again, get it nice and clean. And then you can do another shamrock. You can cut out other shapes and designs, whatever you guys want to do. So that should last you guys as long 
would you guys want to have some fun with your family? Also, just so you guys know, everyone who is enrolled in this class is going to be getting an email. We are sending out a music activity for you guys to do, which should get some of the wiggles out of all your kids. So, all right, if we'd love to see your pictures if you want to send them to us and see how much fun you guys had. Thank you. Thank you.